Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Zanat here. Today I've got a new review for you. This is the Microcool Banchetto K Black Modular Case. Uh, basically it's an open design for a test bed uh, or system that will be wide open and flexible. And because of its design and the way it's made actually, it also is a good starting point for people that might want to get into uh, you know, liquid nitrogen cooling. So let's take a look at the uh, contents and then uh, we'll take a look at uh, putting some on it. All right, so what we have here are the pieces that come with the test bench. Basically you have four of these fan mounts. They allow you to mount uh, 120 millimeter fans uh, into them and then they have certain positions on the uh, Banchetto K that you can mount them and I'll show you that in a minute. You also have six posts here and these posts are for your PCI cards in your slots. You'll see there's uh, threaded, it's basically a very long threaded standoff that you would uh, mount into, your, into the Banchetto K and you can mount them in various points where your PCI cage would be so that you can secure your PCI cards to your motherboard in the setup. Uh, they also provide uh, uh, options for, you'll see that thin slot there, you can uh, hold a you know, SSD or any two and a half inch um, drive in that. And uh, I'll we'll show you how that foam get, works in the system there for that. And then there's also a version here that uh, when you install it in the proper place it actually gives you the capability for two two and a half inch drives. And then natively you'll see the case has a spot for standard three and a half inch hard drive. And we also have a uh, power switch and they also provide a sleeved power cable uh, with the uh, connector on one end and some uh, and the lead so you can just and these are screws that so you can just screw into your power switch and then in addition to that uh, the hardware that you need and this uh, hardware is designed for this case to make it uh, very easy to remove uh, install and remove uh, motherboards and also you see a number of thumb screws all the same size these thumb screws here are what you would use to uh, secure your motherboard to the Banchette OK or uh, your PCI card, secure it to the PCI um, card standoffs. So uh, those are the pieces that come with it. Let's uh, take a close look at the Banchette OK uh, bench board, if you will, and then uh, let's see what else we can do with this. And in addition to the Banchette OK itself and the accessories I just showed you, they also provide a a pictorial diagram of how to assemble and where the uh, the accessory pieces go. Now um, basically you'll see there are seven PCI holders. I mentioned six. There are actually seven. I do have seven. You have uh, the four fan holders. They go on either side of the space where the motherboard would be. And then we have a power button and where the standoffs are used. And a dual SSD adapter a single SSD adapter and this is the place where that would be installed and then all of the uh, screws uh, that, I, that I showed you. So uh, that's just a very simple diagram to show you how everything goes together. And then down here we have the actual Banchetto ready to uh, accept these pieces. Let's have a look at that now. So there you have the whole Banchetto K assembled. Now uh, there are spots for a total of nine PCIe slots. Uh, they do give you seven, but there are two more available. Uh, there are the four fan mounts are here for 120 millimeter fans, and you would need to secure these down. They do have a slot on the top of the uh, of the head, so you would use a you know flat blade. You can get them started easily with your fingers, and then you can tighten them down. Then you would mount your fan uh, to them. All the standoffs are in. The uh, power switch is a momentary power switch. Uh, I did have it wired and they have a nice little pass through so that you can connect it to your motherboard easily. Uh, a couple other holes that are in the uh, uh, designed into the Banchetto K or SATA cable in. So coming from your SSDs or your hard disk and this slot is a standard three and a half inch hard drive would fit easily or your dual SSDs or single. It's the single one. You would run your cables out from there and then in underneath the uh, Banchetto and then out to feed your SATA ports onto your motherboard. 
So uh, those are some uh, ports that are on there. The uh, standoff, the motherboard uh, that are supported on here are standard ATX, uh, EATX, XL ATX, and also micro ATX. So those are the different motherboards that you can mount on there. And if you notice, this is one solid uh, injection molded piece of heavy duty shatter resistant uh, plastic. It's uh, very solid. Feels like it weighs with everything on it about, I don't know, five pounds or so. And, uh, and, and actually it's 2.5 kilograms for my metric friends. And so that's it. That's the uh, base unit. The uh, power supply that would fit in here, anything up to that cavity is three and a half inches by nine and a half inches. So um, there's absolutely no issue with, uh, you know, even your longest power supplies that are out there. They should fit in there uh, without any problems. So the next thing to do now is see, since this is wide open and flexible, you know, pretty much your imagination uh, is the limit. Now they do have this um, marketed as uh, because of the shatter resistant and chemical resistant uh, material they use that uh, you can use this as a starter for some liquid nitrogen uh, cooling. Now I don't have any of that, I won't be doing that, but I do have uh, a kit that I can put on here and because it is so wide open and flexible uh, let's see how creative I can get with um, a setup on here and of course the setup is not going to be an air-cooled setup I think we're going to have to do some kind of liquid cooling on here and that uh, just uh, opens it up for me to think how am I going to mount some uh, water cooling apparatus on here well let's see what I come up with all right, guys, so the plan was to get uh, the Banchetto K bench uh, outfitted, and this is what I'm going to put on it. We've got a Z87X OC from Gigabyte. That's the uh, new Haswell um, LG1150 based motherboard. And on that, uh, we are going to put a uh, Seasonic uh, X750 uh, gold power supply. We have an XSPC. AX240 uh, radiator and we have the Intel Core i7-4770K we also have an EK DDC X Res 100 the uh, Lang DDC 1T is the pump and then we're going to be able to put a few fans on this uh, test bench here that's the uh, NFP12 there's four of them two on the rad and two on the bench and then the memory is the uh, Ballistics 4 gigabyte Tactical Tracer uh, DDR3 at 1866 with timings of 999 and 27 and it, it has uh, it runs at 1.5 volts and what you don't see is a video card because I'm going to use the graphics um, capabilities the 4600 uh, core that's in the uh, i7 and also the other thing that you don't see is a hard disk I have a uh, Vertex 3 uh, SSD that's going to be uh, used. So uh, let's take a look at all these pieces uh, on the bench at OK. So there it is. These are all those pieces on the bench um, with the addition of some uh, Coolant quick disconnect fittings. And uh, of course, you see on the motherboard, the uh, CPU block is the uh, Alpha Cool XP3 Lite uh, Palm block. All right, there are nice little handles on either side of this, and I've already picked it up and moved it around a few times. This thing is uh, very, very mobile, very mobile, uh, light because of the construction of the uh, tray. It's uh, just a solid in injection molded plastic, and uh, you know I, I did not disconnect in the cables, but uh, like I said, when I was putting it together, I moved it a few places before I settled over here on the bench. So. Um, very light and easy, uh, nice, uh, nice little uh, setup to have to be able to check out um, some some uh, components very easily. You can swap in power supply easily, fans, no problem. Obviously, you access the motherboard, no problem. And uh, if you've got a bunch of card sets that you want to plug in and out, um, they're very straightforward, easy to do. So there it is, guys. Here's the uh, Banchetto K for Microcool uh, with a kit on there. I, uh, you know, assembled it. Uh, pretty quickly even though I fast-forwarded it's really straightforward not many parts 
the assembly of the uh, motherboard is uh, straightforward. You know, you, you've got some uh, little standoffs that they have in there, and then you get to use the exact same thumb screws for everything. Same th some thumb screws that you secure the motherboard to the standoffs are the same ones that you mount the fan brackets down, the same ones that you put on top of the um, PCI uh, Q-tips in the back over there. So, uh, uh, you know, I really liked it. It was easy. It was fun to, uh, to put together. Uh, and then the kit, and it's got handles pretty much everything from, uh, you know, micro ATX all the way up through uh, XL ATX and EATX. So uh, that whole range of uh, motherboards you can fit on here. And the fact that it's flat, it's light and durable, I really liked the capability to move around. I have a bunch of bench areas here in my, uh, my, my studio where I, where I build systems. And uh, some of them are filled up with stuff, so I had to keep moving stuff around. And it was real easy just to pick this whole thing up and move it around. So, you know, you saw that just before I cut to, the, uh, to this wrap-up here. But uh, honestly, it, it was light, easy, flexible, and you don't have to just put an air-cooled kit on there. Uh, obviously, any kind of air tower will fit on your motherboard you get on here. But um, I, uh, I tried to uh, think out of the box a little bit, and uh, I went ahead and... Um, outfitted it with uh, a small uh, water cooling setup you know using the um, you know EKDDC little 100 micro res I was able to secure it down with uh, on one of the points from one of the fan mounts so I used the thumb screws that you get with it I just didn't install the fan mount I put uh, the DDC pump uh, you know bracket that comes with the pump right there and sc screwed it down that's all I had to do and then uh, the the uh, uh, the AX240, um, I just mounted uh, vertically, and I used the same uh, mounting uh, points in the bottom for the fans to secure it to the rat. So that's in there, nice and sturdy, no problems. And then uh, everything else was really straightforward. So, you know, um, ease of assembly, without a doubt, flexibility, as you can see right here. And I'm sure you, you know it. You know, it's open for your imagination what you want to build on there and and obviously you can go you can go vertical there's nothing keeping you back from going up um, and if you want to hang over the sides you know well that's up to you and then the other thing is price this thing currently is priced at $130 at performance PCs so uh, if uh, this is something that uh, you might be able to use go for it uh, I, I you won't be disappointed if you uh, if you use uh, your bench or you use boxes to put your motherboards on there this is a lightweight, easy to thing to put away. It doesn't take up a lot of space if you're just going to mount your motherboard on there and you know do just an air cool build. And with your uh, power supply, you can just take all that stuff back off and put it away. Uh, it's real easy. Or leave it up. You know that's up to you. But again, uh, the the for the price and it's also is designed so that it's chemical resistant and because it's injected molded plastic, it'll handle um, some liquid nitrogen cooling. So uh, you know, any kind of uh, goop that you're going to get on that tray from your, um, you know, coating the uh, motherboards or any uh, condensation, water, all that stuff is not going to affect the finish uh, of this uh, case. Yeah, so that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and favorite. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe. Uh, big thanks to Performance PCs for giving me the opportunity to be able to review this uh, case uh, for you and bring it to you. If you're interested, please, by all means, get over to Performance PCs and, uh, you know, check it out. So, uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.